Hello, in England, I'm discussing two Fedden paintings. Mary Fedden, a uh, British-born, English-born painter. And uh, the, these, these paintings sit within her overall works, of which many do not depict Malta. She's in Spain, she's in Africa, she's in Ireland, she's in, in London, she's in England, she's in France. And part of, in part of her life, she lived in Malta and she revisited Malta and, and topped up her Maltese works with, with more pictures. So we have a 2006 Fedden with a 1977 Fedden originals painted watercolour with collage on paper, gouache watercolour on paper. This area in Gozo and this area in Gozo is near Garb, G-H-A-R-B, and near Gazri, G-H-A-S-R-I. And this strange uh, skyline is the, the strange shaped hills they have in that, that region uh, and they have areas of chalky which chalkyish pale, pale soil and they have, obviously have the huts the, the, the square topped buildings without pitched roofs which, you, which are emblematic in Malta so you've got a Maltese scene you've got a Gozo scene that's quite an early one and there are a number of other ones she's done which show that same skyline it is a frequently used skyline and a most distinctive skyline. This one here has collage taken from works by her husband called Julian Trevelyan, Trevelyan. and he was also a prolific painter in Malta and the same places as Fedden. They lived together obviously and uh, both were at it painting. And the works aren't the same but they are of the time and inventive and often you'll notice the palette of colours is similar. So here you have a painting of Gozo Church, Gozo Tower, Gazri or Garb. You have these sections taken from a Trevelyan picture paint print and they are applied to the surface so this is unusual because it combines the contribution from the artist and the creator of the collage so it would have been nice if Trevelyan had signed it as well but they haven't so so that's unusual and um, the problem with the Fedden pictures is they are grossly Huge price. I mean, the, the prices are horrendous. And the strange thing is that this is not a matter of prices sort of climbing since these were created. They were they were expensive when they were they were first painted. If you look at my other video on this channel about Fedden, you'll see that we've got a priced catalog from 2013. And you know these pictures really are dear, really are expensive. And they, they're not going to go down. Um, and if you want to have one, unfortunately, you have to get your checkbook out. That's just a matter of reality. We had to get our checkbook out to buy these, I can assure you. Um, so the, the Malta connection is she lived in Malta and she depicted Malta. And I would say that it's a, quite an original depiction of Malta. And it's a, you could say the same about Trevelyan's works in Malta. They're, Pretty original, in my view. If you're looking at um, Italian paintings in the, the museums, if you see a picture of Saint Jerome or a picture of a saint, they're not original. They're not original depictions. They're originals in terms of the hand painted, but they're really aping paintings that have been copied, uh, made in Rome before, or by other artists or Holland. So, so these are original. They're trying to find new ways depicting a scene. So I think they're very good. And the fact that the artist is not Maltese um, is um, not uncommon in Malta. You have people like Basil Spence, you have people like Passmore, who though he did abstract, he did some pictures which were relating to Malta. Some of the patterns look like Maltese sea, some of the patterns look like Maltese walls. Um, and um, Lear, there's a number of, of English painters who came to, to Malta. But the thing about these is 
is, is the Maltese scenes. And this is what the Maltese are buying at the moment in Malta. They're, they're buying their own stuff about their own country, from the country. And these will go to Malta and be, be sold there. And um, the, the supply of these Maltese ones is very thin on the ground. Um, they're not big pictures, which has keeps will keep the price down. Some of Fedden's works are are big. Some of her works are oils on canvas. These are on paper, which traditionally keeps a lid on the price. But I, I think that they're important things, and they're rare, and they're, they're really nice nice things to have. Um, I think investment wise, they're they're good. I I think there's, there's always an exit off ramp for these if you ever sell them. But I think they're nice things to look at and. Um, I think that uh, they're very, as I said before, they're very of the time and they are hugely interesting. Thank you.